what's way to my channel. Keep my life in order. In today's video, you guys, I'm doing a mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. I don't know. Normally, when I'm doing I'm like no sound, I'm not talking. I'm actually in a restaurant. But I said today, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get the food, bring it home, and sit down and talk to you guys. I haven't done this before, so this is the first time. We'll see. But I went to the juicy grab, you guys. My favorite place. I got a pound of snow crabs and I got an additional order of corn and potatoes, which is my favorite. All right, and I'm also have me some Moscato. Drinking some Moscato. So yeah, let's get going. And I had them to cut me up some lemons. I mean, give me some lemons. I got lemons too as well. So yeah, y'all, how y'all doing? How your day going? I was like treating you. Anything that you want to vent about? I'm here. <laughs> you know, you can talk to me. You can talk to me about anything. But, um, well, this looks so good, y'all. Y'all, I'm getting to the point where I am craving seafood. I don't know why. I just, I'm just craving my seafood. And it's getting so bad, y'all. It's getting so bad. Some corn. Mm. Delicious. And a potato, which is so little. That's a small one. That's why they only give you like, that's why I was getting an extra order of corn and potatoes. I mean, I'm like really hooked on, like really, really hooked on the corn and potatoes and the, um, the all juicy sauce, medium. Yeah, it's so good. It is delicious. Wait, let me get my food out. I should have had my gloves on doing this. I don't know what I'm thinking. See, I'm so excited to eat, y'all. I ain't got my gloves on. I'm so ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. But yeah, y'all. I wanna um, I wanna talk to y'all about a couple of things. Couple of things that's kind of like been, well, not, I ain't gonna say basically, they haven't really been on my mind, but there's a couple of things that, uh, mm -hmm. see, y'all, work with me. Be patient, y'all, be patient. <laughs> be patient with me, okay? Be patient with me, y'all. But I do wanna talk to y'all about a couple of things that's on my mind. So let me tell y'all a, a backstory. The backstory was, this year for 20, this year for 2018, I had made up my mind that I wasn't gonna do any traveling. I'm really trying to focus on, you know, um, my business slash my career slash whatever else you wanna call it. So with that being said, I gotta keep my juice right here cause you know I have to build juice at the bottom of the bag, but I just wanted y'all to see what I was eating. And um, I'm just gonna give you guys a disclaimer, nine times out of 10, your girl used my teeth to crack a little bit because I ain't got no crack, I ain't got none of that. It is what it is. And one of these bags is leaking because I got all these juice at the bottom of this bag. But that's here on there, let me bless my food. Okay, so, I had made it in my mind that for the year of 20, this year, 2018, I wasn't doing any traveling. Normally I travel and I go on a trip, at least try to go on a trip, you know, once a year. This year, I said I wasn't doing it. Come on. I ain't gonna put my ration down. This year I said I wasn't doing it. Cause again, I want to focus on my business and um, just invest more in, you know, what it is that I'm trying to do. And so far, it's, I did, I've done really well this year, so far, with just investing more, you know, time into what it is that I'm trying to achieve. But now, y'all, I'm at the point now where I want to start back traveling. I miss traveling. I miss, you know, going different places, um, just seeing different parts of the world. So, I say next year, I don't know. Ooh, this tastes so good, that baby. I don't know what time or what season, but I do want to start back traveling. I want to get more out and just explore more of the world. Probably like 
don't know, maybe six years ago or something like that. I really was on this thing where I was trying to just travel the whole our whole country. No specific purpose, no reason, no rhyme or reason really. But I just wanted to see what each state had to offer because I know every state has something to offer, right? Mm, I'm so good. So that was like my biggest thing. Like I really wanted to do that, but you know, life happens. Mm. And I had to seize on that. So with that being said, I want to get back into that. I want to. I want to travel. You know, and see other sides of the country. You know, see what they have to offer. So 2018, 2019. Oh, I hate this. 2019, I want to go to a place that I have not seen before. A place I really want to go. And then 2020, I want to start building up and making, like, taking several trips. Like, going to, like, different, like, taking multiple trips out of the year like I used to. Like, I promise you guys, it was one point in my life, I was going somewhere, like, every three months, I was going somewhere. You know, and I'm not kidding. Like... I was really just traveling everywhere and just had this is your life. And I want to get back into that. So it's just it's just so much to do. And I can remember, you know, meeting different people. I can't say out of all the places I have traveled so far, one of the best trips I had is when I went to Denver, Colorado. And I went because I don't know. It was one of the birthdays. But I had a girlfriend that lived here in Atlanta. But she was from Colorado. And she decided to move back and be with her family and stuff like that. So I kept in touch with her. And I decided, I said, you know what? Girl, I want to come out there. I want to come to Colorado. Now when I tell you, the people in Colorado are so friendly and nice. They are so friendly. Y'all, they are friendly as I don't know what. I really had fun up there in Colorado. I had a ball. Those people were so nice. And it was just so much fun. We had a good time. They knew how to treat you. Everybody had the same personality up there. Everybody. It was like one of them places where it wasn't a big city, but... Everybody was just real calm and nice up there. And I'll never forget it. I had a great time. So I definitely wouldn't mind going back there. I kind of like, I lost in contact with my girlfriend because she was just one of them people where, you know, if you didn't really keep a hold on her, like really, really keep a hold on her, you'll miss her. And she just, I don't know where she is. I don't know what she got going on. I don't know what she doing, what she got going on. But I really, really would love to, you know, catch back up with her and see how she's doing and stuff. But yeah, y'all, that's what I am so old. And this food is so good, y'all. If you know of a juice of crab, please try it with Because I am hooked. I am so hooked, so, so hooked. So hooked. Another thing I'm gonna think about is well, I mean, I see the progress in my goals, especially my financial goals. I see the progress in my goals, and I'm dipping this off, y'all. And I see the things that are most important to me. You know, meaning that I'm okay with having to pay for a car. I would love to be in a position to pay cash for a brand new car. I'm okay with um, 
building my brand and taking the steps that I'm taking to build my brand. Me and that, I know one thing, in order to be successful, especially if you know you're putting in hard work and you're doing every, everything that you possibly can that's within your willpower, within your means to make it happen, you have to be patient. You really have to be patient. I have talked, met, befriended, know a lot of people that are entrepreneurs, and they all have said the same thing. You really, really have to be patient. And when you take that time, when you take that opportunity, or you decide to go out there on faith, that is when the, your real belief and passion about what you're doing kicks in. Because it's not a win-win situation in the beginning for everybody. Everybody, you know, has to go through different milestones and different journeys, you know. And so, me trying to be, trying to get as many promotions as I can with my primary source of income, just looking at those dollar signs and taking what I have and doing as much as I can to invest, 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 invest. And so, with that being said... This is me now. Let me get that meat. And it's on here too. Goodness gracious. And with that being said, I'm gonna um Yeah, I lost my train of thought. This food's so good. Yeah, I just might cut off. Matter of fact, I know it's gonna cut off. Cause I ain't got that much time. And you know, when the, I didn't realize, ooh, these eating videos. Oh, you can just when you at the house eating, girl. Mm. Let me turn up my little champagne real quick. Let me have my champagne, my wine. Some Scotto. It's so good, y'all. Delicious. But. I um I guess I guess I'm really seeing the the um the kind of like investment side of when you're trying to build a brand and business. It's like everything costs. Nothing is free. Nothing. Ain't that free, y'all? <laughs> Not even your time. What I mean by that is, your time is very valuable when you're trying to build a brand and a business. Time and your money is very, very valuable. So please, don't take it for granted. I hope y'all like my move on. Muck bang, move on. I don't know what you call it. Don't judge how I eat, because it's how I eat. My seafood. And if you want some seafood, if you are in the Atlanta area, or they may have one in your state, I don't know, try to juice the crab. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, you guys.